Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. You've surely encountered Alan Galbraith before. He has perpetrated some of the most outrageous affronts to civilized motoring in the history of wheeled transportation. Well, outrageous or funny, it depends on whether you have a sense of humor. Among the atrocities Galbraith has visited upon us, and there are many, is the horrific farce that is Concord Lemons. Lemons started as a sort of anti-pebble anti-concur event, celebrating the oddball, mundane and truly awful of the automotive world, according to its home page. It has gone global, with Concord Lemons held all around the US and a few down under. We have covered the one at or near Pebble Beach a time or two. Okay, we've covered every single one of them, including the first one, which was cancelled because they couldn't find a venue willing to host it. They finally started in Toro, which means Bull, Park in Monterey, then moved to Seaside, where the Pebble variant has been ever since. It's hilarious, and everyone showing a car, as well as all those who attend, gets the joke. So it seemed only natural that this year's featured mark at all concurred lemon should be the Cadillac Alante. Of course you remember the Alante, the fabulous Cadillac Roadster produced from 1987 to 1993, with body panels made by Pininfrina in Italy and flown, flown, by 747 from Turin to Hamtramck, Michigan, where the Italian body was made to a shortened Eldorado chassis and voila, instant classic and instant class, baby. Galbraith even owns one. Bought it to take it to Radwood too, another car show spoof, for cars from the 80s and 90s, and have kinda come to like it, Galbraith told Dotalik. I have to. I can't sell it. No one wants them. Galbraith does not try to pretend his Alante is a Mercedes SL, a model Cadillac listed as a competitor when the car was new, in terms of quality horrible car, he said. Had all the problems that came with the 4.1-liter V8 engine, even though the Alante version had a few upgrades. The electrics are a nightmare today. And there's enough cowl shake that if you set cream on the dash and drove home down a bumpy road, you'd have butter by the time you got there. So it would seem a natural for the Concord Lemons, right? Sure. We've had owners of Ferraris, Lambos, Bentleys, Rolls, $500,000 Aston Martins, with a rejection letter from a major concours, a sure way to gain entry to Lemons, Mercedes, Voisins, Tetras and even the notoriously persnickety Porsche owners, all of them had a sense of humor about their car, Galbraith told Dotalik. Who would have guessed it would be the owners of the bottom of the value curve lands that would be the ones to boycott Lemons? Alante owners were, to a man, Galbraith said, outraged. The overwhelming response, even from direct contact with club chapters, has ranged from completely humorless to outright hostile and scatological. Here are some of the printable responses, as grammatically presented. If you can't grasp why comparing a top-of-the-line Halo Cadillac to a freaking Pinto is offensive. You my dear sir, have lost it. Something tells me you abhor and do not understand car enthusiasts like the one percenter enthusiasts at the Concur Delegance that you mock. Your initial scathing review of the Alante to me isn't classy, it's quite the opposite an affront to class and it's probably the reason why you run the fun event. This ain't about sense of humor. It is about the value of a car. Your crap can only hurt that, $2,500 Alante owner. Actually. There were no drivetrain quality issues dash Alante owner, 4.1 height engine. It's obvious you fancy yourself an intellectual and maybe in California you are. I don't even own one and I am insulted by your stupid. I polled the other officers of our club. The overall response was no we are not interested. As Alante owners, club members, and loyal Cadillac enthusiasts, regardless of street or collector value. We hold our Alantes in high esteem and care for them accordingly. Our club will not attend your meet. Regional Alante Club President Despite all this, and being banned from the Alante Lovers Facebook group, Galbraith remains undeterred. 
Alante owners wishing to compete for the MyCar has more frequent flyer miles than you do trophy can sign up to display their Italian, American hybrid by going to concarsumens.com. If none show up, he will leave an empty, roped-off area at each show with a sign with all the owner quotes. We will be reading the quotes over the PA for the crowd, Galbraith said. Comedy Gold Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.